Hi everyone, I am Dr. Hanifa Bactriwala, a general practitioner, clinic head, working at RH Dix Chandi, Siddhapura, Bangalore. As all of you know, COVID-19 is again on surge. So we are getting so many cases of COVID. But that is not the end of the uh, disease. Like lots of other diseases also going in the background. Like influenza and pneumococcus and other diseases. So today we are going to discuss about adult vaccination. Most of the people, they would have received all the vaccination in their, during their childhood period. Though it is painful, but we cannot help it. We are going to discuss all the adult vaccines. And hope most of the uh, people about 12 years of age, including kids, adults and senior citizens, they would have received by now their COVID vaccination and their booster shots. So let's start with the, our adult vaccination. So first and foremost, it is an influenza vaccine. We are seeing lots of cases of patients coming to the clinics with a high grade fever, low to high grade fever, cold, cough, and headache, chills, rigors, body pain, myalgia. Sometimes it leads to the uh, pneumonia. And in case the patients are not fortunate, they might need hospitalization also. It might lead to the sepsis also. So this disease can be prevented with the flu shot, which is generally we call it as. Otherwise, it is an influenza vaccine virus. So influenza, it keeps changing its strain every year. So we need to take it every year really, this vaccine. And it is recommended for six months and above kids to everybody. Next comes in uh, pneumococcal vaccine. Pneumococcal as pneumonia, we know in our country, 4 million cases annually they suffer from pneumonia. And 20% of the pneumonia patients needs hospitalization. This can be prevented with the pneumococcal vaccine. So there are two variants, that is 13 and 23. So first shot will be given uh, whenever patient comes to you and followed by next after one year. And uh, for other inquiries, you can visit uh, your physicians. So these are highly recommended for almost for everybody but 65 years plus patients and other patients who are not 65 but they are like suffering from chronic illnesses like uh, hypertension, heart diseases, diabetes mellitus, chronic kidney diseases, autoimmune diseases. So these people are highly recommended for this pneumococcal vaccines. The students who go for study abroad so those are recommended with the meningococcal uh, vaccines. So meningococcal vaccine, it is not very common in India, but it is uh, highly prevalent in colder countries. So like uh, CDC has recommended for this, and uh, in fact the students who are going abroad for the studies, it is mandatory for them to take meningococcal vaccine, which is once in lifetime. And uh, for them, it is recommended also, in case if they have not received their measles, mumps uh, and rubella vaccine and DPT, booster dosages so that is also mandatory for them then next comes in case if you keep traveling so hepatitis A vaccine is must for you because it prevents you from jaundice and other more one more vaccine that is typhoid vaccine which is also prevalent in India so we are talking about hepatitis A vaccine that is uh, uh, like it depends on the strain so it could be one shot or sometimes it is two shots are given and in case if you have not received the hepatitis B vaccine it is usually covered during childhood vaccination but in case it is not covered so it is highly recommended for everybody in their lifetime so these are the three uh, vaccines so like uh, you can talk to your physician about these vaccines in case if you want to know anything about these things you can visit our clinic we are available for 10 hours Keep safe, maintain your hydration well, eat well and maintain social distancing. Okay, thank you.